This is the seven sevens problem. Seven to the power of seven to the power of seven to the, we got a tower power of seven sevens. All I'm asking of you is this. What are the last two digits of this immense number? We can plug in seven to the power of seven into Desmos. But by the third seven, Desmos gives up. We'll look at some bite-sized powers of seven, and by bite-sized, I mean under two billion. And a pattern emerges. The last digits in these powers cycle. Zero, one, zero, seven, four, nine, four, three. Repeat every four powers. This summarizes the pattern. Now, does that go on forever? I'll leave it to you to prove that to yourself, but we're gonna run with this. Let's have this represent an integer whose last two digits are four, three. Therefore, seven to the power of seven is such an integer. We can tell if an integer is divisible by four by looking at its last two digits. If they're divisible by four, the whole integer is divisible by four. An integer ending in four, three will be divisible by four, but with a remainder of three. That's important because the powers of seven cycle in fours. When we move on to the three sevens that broke Decimus earlier, we can replace those top two sevens with four n plus three. We could tack on any number of sevens to that power tower. The resulting integer will have final digits of four, three. Check out the reruns. Cheers and Bob's your uncle.